In today's video, I'm going to take you through eight ways that you can use ChatGPT to automate the heck out of your PPC campaigns and save a ton of time using the AI. So what is ChatGPT? In case you've been living in a cave for the past six months, ChatGPT is the new AI language model released by OpenAI that's on public release now that has been taking the marketing and business world by storm. Literally not a day goes by now where someone isn't finding something new that you can do with this software, some new prompt that you can chuck into it to generate some useful response that's gonna save a ton of time in your business or marketing. Now, I've been keeping an eye on this thing with the point of view of a ppc -er, and I'm always looking for new ways to use it to help me get more out of my PPC campaigns. And I've collected a list of eight things for you today, so let's dive on in and discuss them. So first of all, uh, in case you haven't done so already, in order to get access to ChatGPT, you just wanna search for OpenAI, uh, openai.com, and it's a free sign up. You can use your Google account to sign in and get access to this wonderful tool. And once you've done that, you will be greeted with a text prompt like this. And number one on my list of ideas is you can use this to get keyword ideas. So let's say, for example, I'm in the market to buy some smart lights for my house. Uh, so right now, smart lights are on my mind. So I'm going to use smart lights as an example product that I might want to advertise on Google Ads for. So here, here's the Philips Hue smart light system, the one that I've been keeping my eye on. And let's get some keyword ideas as if I were uh, the advertiser at Philips who wants some keyword ideas for where to advertise this product. So what you can do is you can say, give me 20 keyword ideas for, and then just, you can actually just plug in the URL. And there we go. Now, ChatGPT has access to data from the web up to about September 2021, I believe it is. So if you try this with a website that's a bit newer, that wasn't around uh, towards the end of 2021, it might not work. But for established websites, websites that were there at September 2021 or before, you will be able to do this. You'll just be able to give the URL and then ask the system to do stuff with that URL like getting keyword ideas. And, and these are some pretty good, decent ideas. So uh, this, can, this is gonna save a ton of time on keyword research. It's not going to completely automate you out of doing keyword research, but this is a great way to get started. And then I would just take these 20 keywords, plug them into Keyword Planner, and then see what additional ideas generate out of there. Always using my sort of human eye and creativity and intelligence to know the difference between good ideas and bad ideas, like for example, smart lighting, good idea. Uh, ambience, not so great idea. So, so these tools aren't perfect, but it's a great starting point. It's a great way to save time uh, on something that would have taken a lot more time if you did it 100% manually. Now, number two on my list is you can actually research synonyms here. So this is keyword research once again, but let's say I've got a skincare brand and I've maxed out all my keywords around skincare, but I'm trying to get in that mindset of what other keywords could people be searching for? What are the synonyms for skincare? And I can use that as keywords or I can use those words in my ad copy. There's a dozen different ways I might be able to use this uh, and ChatGPT can help. So uh, list, as many synonyms as you can for skincare. And there we have it, a nice, uh, easy to process list of synonyms. And now I could use these in my in my ads. I could use these as keyword ideas for my campaign. So a few different ways I could use this. Um, and yeah, all really useful stuff. Uh, number three on my list is you can actually use this to get benchmark data. So let's say, for example, that I want to know what's the average conversion rate of USA e-commerce, let's just say all of e-commerce websites in the female beauty niche. Average conversion rate, 
varies greatly, that's true, and can range anywhere from 1% to 3% to 5 to 7%. It's no definitive answer, also very true. This is, uh, this is pretty much the type of response that I give to clients when they ask me this kind of question. It's kind of like, how long's a piece of string? Like there, there are averages, but of course it varies a lot depending on the specifics. Uh, so ChatGPT has, has given a pretty good answer here. That's, that's pretty much the kind of answer and the kind of language that I would use uh, when conversing about this with a client. But it has given me an estimate of somewhere it could be between 1% to 3% and 5 to 7%. And there's just so many questions like this you can ask um, for like for stats or benchmark data that you need. Go to ChatGPT. It's, it's, it's a pretty quick way of getting that information. Now, number four on my list is you can actually use this to write headlines and descriptions. Yep, that is correct. And once again, you can just use, you can dump URLs in here. So I'm just gonna take this URL once again, and I'm going to ask it to write, write 10 Google Ads headlines for. Now check this out. These are not bad, right? Get started with Hue's white and color kit. Transform your home with Philips Hue, all right. I'd like to do that. Elevate your home, elevate your home decor with you. All right, not bad, not a bad starting point. Now, uh, obviously with Google Ads headlines, we have a character limit and I have tried telling the system to stay within the character limit. And it, honestly, it doesn't seem very good at that. When I tell it stay within XYZ character limit for the headline or for the description, it, it tends to just not pay attention. It tends to go over the character limit. So once again, I find that this technology is a great starting point, but it always needs a bit of human intervention. It always needs some human eyes to, to check and edit. So I think a lot of work in PPC and in marketing right now is gonna move towards sort of AI generated, AI generated for the ideas, but then human edited before it goes out for consumption. Because you do need that, that little bit of checking that goes on. Uh, but you don't just have to write headlines. We can get some descriptions. Um, let's, uh, thanks. Write five descriptions for Google Ads for the same product. Here we go. Add a pop of color to your home with the Philips Hue white and color ambience starter kit. Comes with three smart spotlights and a dimmer switch for easy control. Not bad. Upgrade your lighting setup. So there you go. Nice time-saving way to get some ideas for headlines and descriptions. And this brings me on to number five of my list, which is researching competitors. So I'm just going to keep the same chat. You can actually just keep the same chat that remembers what you've talked about previously. So let's say, uh, who are the top five competitors for the above product? Okay, so now we have a list of competitors for the product I was just writing ads for. Uh, let's do a little bit more uh, competitor research here and let's try and figure out some keywords for those competitors that we could target. So. Uh, for each of those competitors, give me the top three keywords to target. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here. This, this next bit doesn't always work, but it works sometimes. I don't know why, but let's try this. Write it in a two column list with the keyword first and the worldwide search volume second. Ah, it works. Okay, uh, so you can use ChatGPT when you're researching keywords like this. Not only can you get keyword ideas and you can get keyword ideas on your competitors as well, but you can actually use it to find the worldwide search volume as well. It's actually plugging in to Google Keyword Planner tool, I believe, and it's pulling out the search volumes there for you. So you can get it all in a nice easy table, which helps you kind of prioritize and know which keywords to go after. Now I did say this doesn't always work. It's, it's, it's a quirk of the system. This is an initial research release. So they haven't figured out all the kinks and bugs yet. 
And I'd say like when I search for worldwide search volume of keywords, it, for some reason it works like 60% of the time, but 40% of the time it goes, I'm sorry, I'm an AI language tool and I can't get keyword volumes for you. Uh, well, yes, you can, you just did it. So uh, try using it to get your keyword ideas in a table like this with search volumes. And if it doesn't work the first time, don't worry, maybe just come back in five minutes. Like I tried this five minutes ago and it didn't work. Try it again five minutes later and it does work for worldwide search volumes. And you can get search volumes in specific countries as well. So it doesn't have to be worldwide. It could be USA, UK, any country you want, as long as it's uh, happening to work at that moment in time when you're doing it. All right, number six on my list is you can use this to summarize long pages of text where you don't necessarily want to read the whole text because it's like complicated, maybe it's a legal contract or it's like written in legalese or you just need to get a quick summary of a big chunk of text. Uh, ChatGPT is your friend here. So let's just use an example. Uh, now I found uh, we've got a page over here. I'm going to do a new chat. And I've come over here on this tab to Google's page about negative keywords. And I'm just going to, let's say I, I can't be bothered to read all this. Let's let's just take this and, and, and let's get the cliff notes, right? Give me the TLDR. Now, um, if you put too much text in one go into ChatGPT, sometimes it doesn't like it. So I'm not gonna do the whole page. I'm just going, yeah, I'm going to go halfway down the page. I'll miss out the second half. But what I've done previously for really long chunks of text that I need to summarize, I just go in like and paste in half a page at a time, like summarize this. Okay, then the next half page, summarize this. And if you try to do like a 10 page document, it kind of freaks out. So you might need to like break it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna copy half this page. And then I'm going to say, summarize the follow following text for me in simple terms. And then a couple of line breaks. Paste it in there. And let's let it have a little think about that. And here we are, we are now getting a summary of that big chunk of text. Negative keywords are terms you exclude in your advertising campaign. So I've just turned a, a big wall of text using technical jargon into something like a simple paragraph that helps you understand. Now I find this particularly useful when you're having to go through documents written in legalese like legal contracts or big legal agreements. I recently had one of those to sign. It was like a 10 page document and I was scratching my head at all the jargon used. And I just like literally pasted it into ChatGPT section by section and the system broke down each section into really easy to understand terms, which really helped me quickly understand everything that was in that legal contract. But you can use this to summarize pretty much anything. Number seven on my list is that you can use ChatGPT to actually write your e-commerce product descriptions for you. Let's say I have an organic matcha green tea product and I want to quickly generate some product descriptions that I can then use to put up on my website or put up as the product description in the shopping feed. We can use ChatGPT for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and say, write a pro 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 product description for my 100% organic matcha green tea powder. Introducing our 100% organic matcha green tea powder. Carefully sourced from the finest tea gardens in Japan. And this is the bit where human checking does need to come in because maybe my product doesn't even come from Japan. So definitely check everything this thing writes for you and use it as a starting point, but have all the output human edited later because it might get some things wrong. Um, this powder is made from shade grown tea leaves. Now, what I love about ChatGPT as well is that it's, it's a system that you can actually chat with. It remembers its previous responses. So let's say, uh, make that description a bit shorter and make my product sounds more luxurious, add a little bit of humor. Ah, oh, this time our organic matcha green tea powder is the creme de la creme. Is that, is that a bit more luxurious? I think that's a bit more luxurious. Well done, ChatGPT. You understood what I was talking about. Let's see if you managed humor though. Sourced straight from the sun-dappled tea gardens of Japan. Oh, so luxurious. 
This powder packs a punch of antioxidants and nutrients with its vibrant green hue and earthy flavour. Our matcha is a true luxury item, so go ahead, treat yourself to a cup of green gold and bask in its delicious, nutrient-rich joy. But don't be surprised if your friends start green with envy. Okay, it even put humour in there as well. For number eight, the last one on my list, you can actually get this thing to write meeting agendas. So uh, let's go to a new chat. And let's say um, I'm going to write a meeting agenda for a weekly status update. Let me correct that spelling. Status update states. Status update meeting to discuss our Google Ads campaign. All right, ChatGPT, let me see what you've got for me. So introduction, five minutes, campaign updates, 20 minutes. Wow, this is a really long meeting, 20, 20, another 15, 15, half an hour there, another 15 minutes there. Jeez, chat GPT, like, I, I don't want to spend like an hour and a half plus in this meeting. Um, uh, I mean, good, good agenda, very detailed, but um, whoa, <laughs> that's really long. Simplify this, make the agenda shorter and make it fit inside 30. I mean, this is a weekly status update, so we don't need to be spending that long every week. Come on, it should be 30 minutes or less. Simplify it, make the agenda shorter, and make it fit inside 30 minutes. There you go. Is that actually 30 minutes? 10, 10, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, come on, ChatGPT, I said 30 minutes, but you got, you got us down to 45 minutes. That's an improvement. Uh, and as I say, this is just a starting point. I would then, like, if I was actually using this, I would then take this away and obviously do some human editing to make it improved and get rid of any errors, like the fact that it's lasting 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So there you have it. Eight ways you can use ChatGPT inside your PPC campaigns right now, inside your business and inside your marketing campaigns right now. Hope this has been useful for you. And I encourage you to just go and play with this software because the more you play with it, the more you experiment, the more you are going to figure out ways that it can work for you specifically in your business. Hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe if you do. And until the next one, always be testing.